Hey everyone, it's Akshay and welcome to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we are going to create a bootstrap carousel. The carousel is the slideshow for cycling through the series of image, text or custom markup. But before we start this video, make sure you click on the subscribe button if you are newer and at the end of this video, just click on like button if this video is helpful to you. So as always we say, before we getting late, let's get started. Create a new project in visual code and add image folder. In this folder, we had added three images. We are using this image in the carousel. You can download this image from the description or if you want, you can use another one. Create a new file and name it as index.html in this file create a simple html5 snippet you can create this only by typing html5 and enter rename page title now we want to link bootstrap files to index.html file so we will go to bootstrap website and from the documentation tab just copy this link tag and paste it in the head then copy this bootstrap javascript files and paste it right before the closing body tag don't forget to add these three javascript files because carousel explicitly required javascript to run properly after this create a div with the class container in the visual code the simple way to create a div with the class is just to typing div dot class name and then press tab we have added width 75 percent and height 75 percent in this div we create another div with the carousel and slide class and then specify id carousel example and then create a data write carousel using the carousel without data write causes unexpected behavior if you trigger a slides via data slide annotate element this seems to just trigger the cycle behavior instead of just sliding to the next or previous slide then create a div with carousel in a class this class will add slide in the carousel so now we will add our first slide with the active state so we will add div with carousel item and active class in the first item we will add image tag and specify source image then specify alt attributes and class is equal to d block the dblock class will simply set an element display property to block. After that, create another slide with carousel item class and specify the second image in image source attributes. Then specify alt text to and class dblock. Now we will create the third slides. So I will speed up this video and create the third slide. In third slide everything is same but just change image and alt attributes. And then run the project by clicking on the go live text. This is the go live extension so just install it. You will see your image is too large but it is sliding. 
when you hover the mouse over the image, it stops sliding. But now, we want to specify some width and height for this image. So we will use width 100% and height 100% bootstrap class and apply this to all these images. Now it looks pretty much better now. Afterwards, we just want to add previous and next control over here. So we will add this control just after the closing carousel in a class. Create anchor tag. In href attribute specify carousel id and then create a class of carousel control previous and data slide previous in this anchor tag create span with carousel control previous icon and area hidden true after this create a span tag with sr only class and previous text this class is used to hide information intended only for screen renders or the layout of render page you will see there is a previous control was created now we want to create a next pattern so create an anchor tag with href attribute with id carousel example and the class name is carousel control next and data slides next In this tag, create span with carousel control next icon class and specify area hidden true. After that, create another span with sr only class. That's it. When you run it, you can go to the previous and next image by clicking only on the previous and next icon. It is working very smoothly. Okay, now we want to create an indicator on the bottom of the carousel. Indicator will indicate how many slides are there in the carousel and which slides the user are currently viewing. So we will create order list tag with carousel indicator class. In the OL tag, create a list tag with data target carousel example. Keep in mind that in the data target specify exactly the same carousel ID. Then create a data slide to zero. Data slide to attributes specifies which slide to go to and create active class to specify active state of the first element then create another li tag and specify data target property and then data slides to one this will indicate second slide and create the third li tag and specify data target property and data slide to 2. This will indicate third slide. So now run your project. You will see there is an indicator on the bottom which indicate how many slides are there and which is currently viewing. You can just change slide by clicking on the indicator also. Now we just want to create some padding on top and then add the background color. Then create the container class to the center carousel and on the bottom create a title.
okay your bootstrap carousel is created now if you hover the image carousel will stop sliding you can slide image by clicking on the previous or next icon or directly from the bottom indicator that's it if you find something useful in this video then must click on a like button and if you haven't subscribed yet then click on subscribe red button and also press bell icon to get notification of my every new video if you have any question then comment me in the video comment section that's all for today see you in the next video till then be happy and keep watching